What's up? This is AJ Serace, member of the ping, ping pong club, two-time champ, three-time locker room champ, and I'm going to be taking you through some of the personal tactics I use to attack my opponents, plus just some knowledge about the game of ping pong and how we play here at Notre Dame. So first off, the way we play here, it's serves by 5 to 21, and it's win by 2. So on the serve, um, the rules we have here at Notre Dame is it has to be at least six inches in the air. So, for example, you can't just hit it like that. It has to have at least six inches and then you can hit it. That's all the basic rules you really need to know for now. Now I'm going to be taking you through how the double champ prepares for matches. First, get the wrist nice and loose. Then play a little bit of wall ball. And then, we go over here. Maybe you'd like to get about 100, just to get the hand-eye coordination nice. And then it's go time. Now I'm gonna be taking you through some of the tactics I use when I play. All right, now I'm gonna be taking you through some of the tactics I use during the games. Uh, tip number one, during warm-ups with your opponent, take it easy on them. Miss a couple shots, don't show them anything you're gonna use, let him get his confidence up, so that when you come out, you know he's a little shocked. First up, I'm gonna be taking you through my serve. I use two. Versus the forehand serve. Now here is my backhand serve. For me, you know, I like to assess my opponent. There's one more spin on this on the backhand serve. So, you know, if I don't think he uses spin well, use the spin. If I don't think he uses the speed as well, use the forehand. So for me, I'm a little more comfortable with my backhand. So this is like my base shot. But you know, so but that means if you, if the ball's thrown over here, you gotta have good footwork. For example, so you can use your forehand, but just for me, I just like staying here, here, and that's why your footwork and all that's important. Now I'm gonna be taking you through the slam shot, the finisher. If they leave you one up there, you make them regret it. Can you just describe to me what those two championships meant to you at the time? You know, really I'd be lying if I said it didn't mean the world to me. You know, people don't see all the hard work that goes in, all the early mornings, all the late nights, you know, really just grinding on your craft. And, you know, to a lot of people it might have been expected, you know, I'm a good player, but, you know, it really meant a lot. And, you know, I'm just so grateful to have the people in my corner help me throughout the way. And, you know, I just can't wait to keep this thing going. So with that 2022 amateur locker room league that you had going on. Um, how exactly did that influence your game as a whole? Yeah, I mean, it was amateurs, you know? And I think, you know, they played like amateurs and I made them look like amateurs. So it did impact my game, it made me confident, it made me ready for the next level, it made me ready for, you know, the ping pong club. And, you know, there really wasn't much competition there. Like I said, it's amateurs, I made them play like amateurs. So it did impact me, it impacted my confidence. All right, AJ, you're acting like a very confident guy. I mean, I've got the records in front of me, and, you know, I'm seeing two losses on your name here. I mean, can you describe to us what happened there? Yeah, I mean, there were some, you know, I'm going to say there were some external factors I was unfamiliar with going into it, and, you know, I think there's some stuff more than ping pong going on, you know, a lot of calls going the other way and a lot of things. You know, it was weird. I tried to, you know, there was a scandal, you know, it's not ridiculous. I mean, it's not ridiculous to say that. I'm, it's. I think it's ridiculous. I think I deserve to win those matches, and I think there's something more than ping pong going on there. All right, AJ. So you're the next new contender on the block. Um, you know, you've been piling up some wins, having three in the club league and even more in the amateur league. Uh, so my only question, and the question of many others, is what's the next step for AJ Serres? Yeah, I'm ready to announce. I'm ready for the pro leagues and. You know, I've got a great support system behind me that thinks I'm ready and you know, uh, the training hasn't stopped, you know, and I feel like I've grown a lot over this period of time and I think I'm ready for the pros. So, you know, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to go out there and compete and, you know, I can't wait to get to the next level. All right, AJ. So I've talked to plenty of other candidates, uh, both from the club and amateur levels where you've performed at. And every person that I've interviewed so far has said the same thing that really resonates with me. It's that ping pong is a game that's larger than life. Uh, what are your thoughts on this statement exactly? Couldn't agree more. I mean, I think really the discipline and the sacrifices, right, that you have to make to be a great pong player, 
I mean, it's stuff that I've taken into my everyday life. And, you know, off the court, off the table, I mean, it's who I've become as a person. I've become more disciplined, more sacrificed, you know, just a better overall person. And the mental and physical, you know, challenges that you have to face on the, on the table are stuff that really translate into life, into being a better person. So, you know, it's a larger than life experience. And, you know, I'm so grateful for everything this game's given me. And, you know, like I said, I can't wait for the pro level. And, you know, I'm really going to try to, you know, prove myself right, prove others wrong, and, you know, just be the best I can be.